was like, oh. they're going to get families money. How awesome. <laughs> well, in the form of saving it, I suppose. In the form of saving it. Yeah. i got to get back into the swing of things, Nicole. Well, How welcome are you? back. Well, thank you. How you, are you? You look sun-kissed and refreshed. <laughs> had a good time. Everything yeah, was, we dream of. <laughs> yeah, it was a fun. It was a fun vacation. You so. enjoyed. And where did you go? Fun. Went to Aruba. Okay. Uh, Corsau. How was that? It was beautiful. They make the blue, you know, like the blue Coruscant drinks. Yeah. They make they oh, make the Coruscant yeah. and on in Coruscant. Go figure. <laughs> and then we went to um, Martinique mm. and then St. Kitts. Nice. So it was nice. I've never been to any of those islands. They were fabulous. I recommend them highly. Aruba's, I, I thought Aruba was spectacular. Is that your favorite out yeah, of all Yeah, it was of my them? favorite yeah. out of all. And a little more developed than some of the other islands. So if you're okay. looking for more off the beaten track, you know, they have a lot of forests and tours and things like that. And, and pink beaches too, right? It's just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, so, so but amazing. Aruba, a little bit more uh, developed than the other ones. Okay. Yeah, really nice. Well, we're more developed here with you back. So we, thank you so much for coming back. Thanks we a lot appreciate for having it. Me. I, I guess you're at the age where you can kind of stay if you want, Exactly. Right? Coming up. Oh, Wednesday. <laughs> All right. We'll talk about that. <laughs> All right. In the meantime, let's get to the weather. We are. Uh, it's not a bad start out there. No, it's yeah, pretty Yeah, first clear, alert right? live radar. Scanning the state dry. Good morning, everybody. Take a look at first alert futurecast. There are some clouds. We had some clouds earlier this morning, but uh, they're expected to kind of filter in and out of the state during the day today. So I'm going to go partly to mostly sunny during the day today. Tonight will be completely clear. This is 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. We're still dry and clear. And tomorrow during the day, we're going to basically be dry until some drizzle rolls in tomorrow evening through early Wednesday morning. And then Wednesday, there could be some scattered showers around. So for the rest of today, we're talking about temperatures right around 50 degrees for both inland and shoreline. A little bit by a degree or two cooler than average. Tomorrow's a cooler day. Tuesday, mostly cloudy with, again, some drizzle tomorrow evening through early Wednesday morning. And then Wednesday, scattered showers. Not a washout by any means, but temperatures will be in the low to mid-50s, so the numbers rebound. And then Thursday, we're expecting some rain. Mm. And know. then Friday, Saturday, Sunday look pretty good for Easter weekend. We'll have more on that coming up on Eyewitness News at noon. You know what? I'm kind of at the point right now. Bring all the rain during the week so we can you have know, a nice, nice clear weekend. weekend. I am so with you. Oh, all the Easter egg hunts, too. I know. They got, some know? of them got rescheduled. Yeah. I, I, I was not here Saturday, but I was hearing all about it. Yeah. It, so was, it was a deluge. It was crazy. Yeah. Literally. I, I thought, like, I was going to float away. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right, this morning the Huskies are barreling forward on the road to victory. The men's basketball team won big against Northwestern last night, and now they're moving on to the Sweet 16. How sweet it is, How right? How sweet it is. To be UConn. Tristan Newton led the Huskies on the scoreboard with 20 points, followed by Donovan Klingen with 14 points on the board and 14 rebounds. His height definitely comes in handy there. UConn came out with a dominant win, 75-58. to And now the Huskies will face off against San Diego State this Thursday in Boston. Wow. Can you believe the ticket? prices no I'm looking at that in the prompter I'm like is that a typo no, I guess it's, it's not. right yeah $282? That's what they start at. Start at? Against Whoa. San Diego. And Whoa. The, now the Aztecs um, are going to be playing in the Sweet 16 in consecutive years for the first time because they were in for the first time last year. And they did it again. And they did it again. Well, yeah, the Huskies ended up beating San Diego 76 to 59 last April in Houston. And that denied, obviously, San Diego State's chance at its first title. Look at but you, Joe Zone, over here. Thank you very much. I did very my research good. today. All right, now, but tonight all eyes are going to be on Gamble Pavilion as the third seed UConn women's team hosts sixth seed Syracuse. Now, if the Huskies win, they'll secure a spot in the Sweet 16. Yeah, tip-off is tonight at six in stores, and if you want to go show support, you can still get your tickets. I don't think they're as expensive no, as I think the men's I, game. I heard some of the seats are as low as 30 bucks. That's good. That's yeah, great. Yeah, which is really good. Yeah. So for Gamble Pavilion, check it out. Absolutely. Support those ladies. Exactly, and hopefully they can give Coach Gino a little belated a birthday gift. A little cake. Yeah, on a win. 70. Yeah, he just turned 70 over the weekend. Isn't that incredible? That's awesome. Good for him. Good for him. Keep going. <laughs> and he's as young as a spring chicken Absolutely. coaching those gals. And there's also another type of mania that's sweeping the nation right now after no one no one hit the Mega Millions jackpot in Friday's drawing. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. It really is unbelievable. The prize now sits at $1.1 billion after 30 consecutive drawings with no jackpot winner. I'm losing my voice over yeah. here, just speaking of it. <laughs> All right. Well, your next chance to become a billionaire, billionaire is tomorrow night. But if you just can't wait, Howard Ball draws tonight with a jackpot of only $800 million. Are you in it? 
Am I? No, I haven't bought one yet. Get one. Uh, did you get one? I'm in this pool. Oh, okay. Where this woman takes, like, I write her a check every two, uh, every six months. Yeah. And I'm guaranteed to be in the pool, and she does all of the tickets. She's probably sitting really? on the beach in a lot. I was just going to say. Sitting on the beach in Puerto Rico. Who is this Rico woman, and where is the proof that I she's buying a ticket? I met her at a public appearance with Nancy Wyman years ago. Really? And she said, I run this pool. She's like, if you want to be in it, just send me some money. And I was like, okay. So I've been sending her money for years. Are you wiring her money? to <laughs> south of the equator? <laughs> Just checking. I'm totally just trusting you. you, you know? No, she's a very sweet woman, <laughs> and uh, she she does do a, a favor for me. So make sure I was, make sure that I'm in the lotto every week. That's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty good. Great way to pay for someone's 401k. Absolutely, <laughs> and her kids' education. Exactly. <laughs> Uncle Scott. <laughs> All right, coming up. Much needed support for.